I'm Dolly. My channel name is Tea Time with Dolly and Thrifty Living. I'm so glad you came to join me today. I have my iced tea in this nice warm day today. So if you would like, get your favorite beverage and come back and join me for a little visit. Okay, I want to uh, ask you, if you haven't subscribed, to please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me. Um, and also, if you like this channel, or my video today, give me a thumbs up and tell your friends about me. Okay, um, today I'm going to talk about ways, 10 ways that we can increase our savings without earning more money. That sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, they're not get-rich ways. In fact, you'll probably never get rich doing them. But they do add up. You know, there's the old saying, a penny saved is a penny earned. So I think that still holds true today. Uh, okay, number one of the ways is electricity. We are on a budget here at our home, and our budget uh, was $109 per month for our electric bill. But, you know, each year they uh, evaluate your budget, and ours got increased to $130 per month, from $109 to $130. So, that means we need to tighten up a little more. Uh, to try to uh, help out on that. Turn lights out when we walk out of a room. Turn the TV off when nobody's in there. Just all those little things. They've got to add up. Okay, and number two. Wow. This really increased is gas in our house. On a budget, we were paying $67 per month. And now, it went up to $206.03 per month. We will need to definitely use less hot water and keep our thermostat down. The way it was, we were turning it way down of a night and then just back up when we got up. But I think we're going to need to still keep it down one or two degrees lower in the daytime. And number three, just little ways of saving money, is paper towels. Do we need them? <clears throat> Did our great-grandmothers have paper towels? <laughs> Probably not. Um, unless you're young. <laughs> great-grandmother was, isn't that, wasn't that old. But they lived for thousands of years without paper towels. So I don't think we really need them. However, I do like to have some on hand <clears throat> just for whenever I fry something. I can uh, drain it on paper towel and then kind of blot it with a paper towel because I don't like excess oil in my food. But I don't fry something that often that needs drained. Um, but you know, when you just have the paper towel holder there on the cabinet, it's so easy to <clears throat> spill something and grab a paper towel and wipe it up. But if you kept just a basket <clears throat> or maybe a, a space in the top drawer of your cabinet with a little stack of rags that's clean, clean rags, can you just grab them up, wipe up whatever spill, and then toss it in the with your towels to wash? And it saves money. I know it doesn't sound like a lot. But if you used one roll of paper towels a week, which some families I'm sure probably use more if you've got very many in your family, and then some of you, just one person might use less. But on an average, if you used one roll per week, and if you found them on sale or at a discount place for, say, a dollar a roll, which is going to be really cheap, uh, I'm sure you can hardly find it for a dollar roll anymore, even the cheap ones. But if you did, <clears throat> that would still be $52 a year on something that you're going to wipe something up and throw it away. So, those little things add up. 
Okay, how about paper napkins? The same way. Uh, just, if you sew, it's so easy to go to a fabric, uh, you know, store that sells fabric, and make, pa uh, make cloth napkins. And when you're done, just toss them in the, your laundry. And they don't take up much space. It's anybody that sews can make <laughs> can hem napkins. Uh, if you don't sew, maybe you can find uh, something in the hardware or automotive department where it's a, a stack of some kind of automotive cloths or something that you can use in place of napkins. At least when you not have a company, just your family. Or maybe you can find something like that that you can uh, decorate or something. I don't know. Be creative. <laughs> um, okay, uh, number five. Fabric softener. Do we need that? I know some of you think, oh yes, I need that. No, you really don't. For hundreds of years, thousands of years, people didn't have fabric softener. Uh, today with our synthetic clothes, I have to admit, when it gets really super cold out, if they're dried in the dryer, you can get static cling. So I do keep some on hand for that, or you can throw our dryer sheet in. But especially for washcloths and towels, you know, when you put that coating on there, they're not even as, absor as uh, absorbent as they should be. So they don't absorb the water when you go to dry off as well when you have fabric softener on there. And if you dry your dishes and you've got fabric softener in your rinse water or a dryer sheet in your dryer, when you go to dry them, you think about that. That fabric softener is still on the fabric. That is what you're smearing on the dishes when you dry them. So that's something to think about. Okay, um, number six. Cleaning products. Do we need a different cleaning product for everything? I don't really think so. You know, laundry detergent, some bleach, uh, dish soap. And then, you know, right now with the virus, you might want a, a can of disinfectant or something or some, keep on hand if somebody's sick. But usually uh, vinegar... One part vinegar, two parts water. Does the trick. You can clean glass, mirrors, windows, countertops, about anything that you can use a, a regular liquid cleaner on. Except, I believe it is uh, marble. You should not use the anything that's kind of acidy uh, or like vinegar. So, you might check on that if you've got marble. Um... Okay, how about clothes dryers? <laughs> I know. If you work, they're convenient and it's it's easier. But do you know I checked with Alexa and it usually runs thirty two to forty one cents per load to run the dryer. Well, I don't know about you, but if I do a large load of laundry in my washer I almost have two loads in the dryer if I wanted to dry very quickly. So that would be, what, 75 cents maybe to dry a large load of laundry. But I figured um, at 35 cents a load, and that's probably a, a small to medium load, if you did five loads a week, that's a dollar. Uh, Dollar seventy-five times fifty-two weeks in a year is ninety-one dollars per year to run your dryer. But lots of people have more than five loads of laundry in a in a week. A few people have less if it's you live by yourself or something. But you know, if you if you can, you can hang them outside on the on the line if it's a nice day, and. If it's not, you can get clothes racks, uh, drying racks. I have a couple of them. And you just put them up, and if you've got room, maybe in a basement, or if you have an extra room or a spare room that you're not 
everybody doesn't see. I have put mine up in the great room and took them down when I knew we had company coming or something. Or sometimes I just left them up depending, you know, if the clothes were dry or not. But um, that was when my dryer broke and I had to, I didn't want to buy a new one yet. Well, once my washer quit too, I finally bought a new set of washer and dryer. But I still want to save money, so I still don't want to use it that much. So um, the drying racks will come in handy. Um, okay, how about um, number eight? Take out and eating out. Of course, we all know that costs more money than when you fix stuff uh, at home. So if you're going to be gone for the day and you know you're going to, can you pack a lunch and take it with you? Or, you know, you can sit in your car and just like have a picnic lunch. <laughs> or if you're near a picnic table or a park or something, you can sit out and eat it. Um, and also, um, okay, number nine. This is something that a lot of mothers with young children may not like, but it does save money. And that is cloth diapers. Now, I know if you work away from home, you take your child to daycare, you're probably going to need to take disposable diapers. Or if you go somewhere, they are definitely more convenient to take disposable diapers. Um, but, you know, when you're home, if you saved, you know, at, from buying one, one pack of diapers, you know, every... I don't know how often people buy them anymore. It's been a long time since I've had a baby. But, you know, it does add up. If you're home all the time, you're a stay-at-home mom, or home most of the time, you know, I think it's worth it, you know, just to get cloth diapers. Uh, just, you know, you may have to change them a little more often. But I think it's it will definitely save you money. And number 10 is combine errands. If you know you've got a doctor's appointment, dentist appointment, or whatever, maybe you can make that day is your day to get groceries or to do a little shopping so that when you're in town or, you know, near the shopping area, you can save gas by doing everything you can do in the one day. Or if you're coming home from work, maybe if it's on the way, you can stop and do your shopping or some errands.